The overall style and ambition for the Bonneville was simple. Uh, we wanted to create beautiful motorcycles. Where, where do we start uh, restyling a legend? Our heritage goes back to 1959 with the Bonneville. It's a very strong line of motorcycles. The, the new Bonnevilles had to be completely recognisable as Bonnevilles, um, initially by silhouette, um, and then looking more closely, you've got the engines. The fuel tanks are obviously uh, Bonneville. From our history, there has been an evolution of that shape that actually probably came to its pinnacle in probably about 1968 in my opinion, but this is all opinions. Um, we've all got slightly different opinions on what was the ultimate Bonneville. The DNA we needed to bring into the new bikes, you obviously have the silhouette, that's very, very clear. You have the general line and the stance of the bikes, which is very, very important. They're very recognisable. In addition, you have all the details. You have the fuel tank along with um, the tank badges. But you, one of our main features is the engine. If you look at the engine, it is iconic. It is completely recognisable as a Triumph. We not only wanted to incorporate our heritage, but we also had to include a lot of new features that obviously the previous bikes didn't have. Modern bikes have a lot more equipment to package. We have to allow for catalytic converters. We now have liquid cooling. Um, we have anti-lock brake systems, we have traction control, we've got ride-by-wire. All those things had to be integrated into the design of the bike and not detract from the elegance of the overall form. We're launching three motorcycle styles. From the outset of the project, the Bonneville was the bike that had to be completely authentic. That's the bike that we were looking at, the line and the stance of the original bike most closely. Um, so every detail was poured over. With the Street Twin, we've got a completely different look for the bike. We wanted a contemporary classic. We wanted people to see it as a, as a fun, easy to ride motorcycle. The Thruxton is a completely modern take on a 1960s cafe racer in that it looks authentic, but it's got a chassis that is completely contemporary. So we have 17 inch wheels. It is set up to handle beautifully. It will not disappoint. We also wanted to raise the, the level of finish and quality on all of the Bonnevilles. If you look at the cylinder head, the cylinder barrels, the cam covers, um, they all look very authentic. We've spent a lot of time working on obvious things like fuel tank and badges, but when you look at the Monza cap on the Thruxton, you've got an absolutely beautifully crafted filler cap that when you open it, it hides a completely modern lock-in filler cap. If you look at the Thruxton again, the, um, the top yoke, when you're sitting on the bike and you look at that top yoke, there isn't another top like yoke like that on a motorcycle. It's absolutely gorgeous. There was a huge amount of effort went into the engine styling. Everything about it um, has to perform well, but also has to look fantastic. So an, a great example there is when we were working on the layout of the engine, and we wanted to have features on the, on the covers that were authentic and in authentic um, positions. We're trying to get the look of the, the original engines. And we've managed to combine the balance shaft position and the adjustment of that balance shaft um, with one of those covers on the right-hand side of the engine. With the styling of the Street Twin, what we were looking at was to create a more contemporary, uh, younger motorcycle. We wanted to keep the silhouette of the Bonneville uh, and wanted it to be instantly recognisable. We've got the Bonneville engine, we've got a Bonneville tank, but it's smaller. It's in line with the bike, being lighter, looking lighter, um, looking easier to manage. It's more stripped back, that's part of the contemporary look. We're using modern finishes, um, we're using brushed stainless steel on exhaust systems, and we've got a more black used on the engine. Uh, the Street Twin has much more youthful colours and graphics. In regards to the instruments, um, we've got a much more modern looking single clock on the front. The rear light is smaller than on the Bonneville, uh, the T120. It's a LED light with a distinct signature uh, round pattern inside. The exhaust system on the T120 is beautiful. There's a very clean line now from the cylinder head all the way through into the pea shooter exhausts. We've used a twin skin uh, header system to avoid discoloration. It's chromed. 
The T120 Black treats things very differently. Uh, we've got finishes that are really inspired by the custom scene at the moment. So we have a lot more black. We've got black header system and black exhausts. Again, twin skinned. One of the things that defined the original Bonneville was twin carburetors. That was requested by the American market. They wanted more performance. On our bike, we've got twin throttle bodies. We've got ride-by-wire throttle bodies, but we wanted to style those um, to give the most authentic look we could. And I think we've really achieved that. The real trick with those throttle bodies is not so much how they look, and they have got beautiful features, including brass uh, components on them. It's what's hidden inside, the technology inside. You just wouldn't know that looking at the outside. There was a lot of responsibility in creating the new uh, Bonneville family. We've got a very proud uh, history and heritage. We wanted to make a modern bike for modern riders, modern roads. We knew what we loved about the way the original bikes looked and we felt we could incorporate both of those things. We weren't trying to make a new Bonneville with a hint or a taste of the past. We were trying to make today's Bonneville.